In Dark Souls, I got stuck in an area called the Tomb of Giants. And I had so much trouble getting out of it. I, it took me hours to get out. So I thought I'd make this video to give anyone else who is stuck as well as me in the Tomb of Giants a hand. So here's what you need. The Skull Lantern. You don't need it, but it will help you a lot. You get it after you get pushed down by the man at the uh, on that pier thing. So you go up the ladder and you turn right. You'll go by the bones and the big uh, pillar thing that's fallen there. And you're gonna go you're gonna go on this wee path here. You're gonna be getting shot at by arrows, but you can just ignore them because usually they won't hit you. If if they hit you, it's not really a problem. I've kindled the fire twice, by the way, so I have 15 things, which I don't I don't I don't when I do it I don't even I use like five of them or something. I think not many. Like you shouldn't get hit there. I only got I only get hit here because I had to pick up that. Usually. You won't get hit at all, and I'm going to use a method later on in the video that you'll see that helps a good bit. You can use, you can do it this way if you want, with your armor and all that. But um, I'll show you that other method in a while. Now you're going to go by these two big guys. You can, they will, they're a bit more difficult to get by. But if you just go forward and turn to the left, you go into this wee enclave type thing. There's a ladder in there. Stop, take a wee drink. Then you're going to come up here. And um, up here, you go up that path on the left. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but you go up this path there, up this dirt path. And if you go on up to the top of this, you'll get a, a soul of a brave warrior, I think, or a brave knight or whatever from that body, I think. But you're going to roll off here, or just walk off, doesn't really matter. Which brings you to the area where you fought Pinwheel. You can't, you, I'm just showing you here, this is the area where you fought Pinwheel. You know, this is where you climb the ladder. But that's not where you go. To get back to the the, the nearest um, bonfire, it gets a lot more difficult, believe me. The, the most difficult bit is coming up now. You go straight on and go by up this big stone bit and go on this this uh, dirt path up here. You'll come into a wee cave now. And this is going to drop you down. Like I'm just showing you where everything's going on. This is going to drop you down into um, a very familiar area. Which, if you've done this bit, you probably you probably hate it as much as I did. Now, what I'm doing is taking off all my clothes, except for my shield. I don't really ever use the shield, but it just feels better to have it on. So you turn right here after jumping down, take a gulp because you need your full life here, and you leg, you just run. That, that's the only be the best way I can describe it. You try dodge these things and run. I don't get it this time, I die here, but I'll skip to where I do get it. I'll show you this, this run dying and ways that you can die. Don't go to the left. I'm going to the left right now, don't go that way. Don't go down there. I was trying to go down there, don't. I'll show you where to, what to do now. Okay, so here's um, a recap of what to do up until the um, the rolling guys point. You go up here, go to the right path, run by these guys. Doesn't matter if you get hit, as long as you have flask, which you probably will. Like, I get hit here. This isn't a good example of the ro of how you can do it, but it's um, the way I did it. Here I mess up quite a bit because I get hit here and then I roll away to the other direction. Doesn't matter if that happens, as long as you get up the ladder and you still have flasks, it's okay. See, I, eventually I got out unscathed virtually because I, I have my life go up this path roll off here or walk off doesn't matter bam then you walk up this right hand path this way this direction up to the wee cave then you fall down here and turn right but first what I do is I take off the skull lantern because I don't need it and change to my night shield so I still have a quick roll but I also have a shield but you can only use the shield if you really need to or you have the chance but I don't use it here this is the most difficult bit in, in in this whole video. You have to run by here. T I took this right path. You have to dodge everything. You have to try not to get hit. It's so difficult. I didn't mean to jump there. See this? They're just everywhere. They're rolling against you. If you're doing my way and you have no clothes on, if you get hit once, like from the, if, that, if that guy hit me, I was gone. Right now, I am so scared because I know I've, this is the farthest I've gotten yet. Get up this ladder as quick as you can. Go, go, go. He hits me a few times. Oh, good. I thought I was a goner there, that's why I stopped, but I'm fine now. Now I change all my armor back on because there's nothing, no more running left. It's all just normal enemies from here on out. Normal in terms of not huge in a the giant's tomb. So I got my shield, I got my halberd, and I got my armor. Uh, there should be enemies here, but for some reason there wasn't. You probably will have to fight them. I don't know why they weren't there for me, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. So you go out here. You go, turn right, and you go up there, up that ladder. You probably know this if you came this way anyway. I'm going to fast forward this bit now. Up we go, up the ladder. Go out here, turn left, don't go right, because there's a bad guy, that, a boss down there that will kill you. And you're outside again. Now, it's still not over yet. 
You still have to do some fighting, and I got extremely lucky here, and I thought I was a goner, and I was so annoyed, but I was fine. Usually there's enemies here. There wasn't for me for some reason. I don't know. I just got extremely lucky, I suppose. You got here, and there will be enemies in this door. There always is. There's two bad guys here, two skeletons, uh, and you're going to want to fight them. What I do is I block them, then I heavy attack so it falls over, and I just do that, because then they don't have a chance, because every time they get up, they die. But there, see that skull there? You just saw him a wee bit there. He will blow up and he will kill you. He can kill you easily. And I just saw him there, so I'm trying to get inside really badly. And I thought I was gone here, but he... They killed the skeletons for me and I was alive, so... I was very happy about that. Take a drink. How much do we have? We have like nine, eight flasks left. So we're gonna keep on... Keep on... Going. We're, we're, we're in the home stretch now. We're nearly there. So what we do is we run across here and we're just gonna see two guys just have a wee dive. And uh, we, you know, just no harm in having a, a wee swim. Maybe there's some water down there. They just, they just dive down, have a swim, you know. Go and go to the right of this thing. There, there, there's usually a wall blocking that, but if you destroy it, you can just go in there. And that thing can hurt you, but hardly any. So you shouldn't be worried about that. And boom, we're out of the giant's tomb. It took me hours to do it. It took me ages to figure out how to do it. I finally found out how to do it, so I thought I would help you. Because I know I wasn't, I, I thought, I couldn't find any videos online on how to do it, so I thought I'd give it a hand. And I give you a wee, woohoo, yeah, look at me go, yeah, I'm all happy now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you got out. I know it's annoying. See you in the next video.